How you doing? My name's Carson. I'll be taking care of you today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? It's birth 531 All right, let me take that on your wristband. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and provide privacy. Do you know where you're uh, at, Drake? Yes. All right, and what brings you in? Um, I'm just a little stuffy. A little stuffy? Yeah. All right, and um, do you know who the president is right now? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. And uh, what's the date today? Just tell me the day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. Saturday? All right. It's Friday, but good yeah. try. All right, so patient is not fully oriented. Um, no physical deformities. Um, and patient is alert and makes eye contact. To start, we're going to um, assess your skull, okay? So I'm just going to check by palpating your skull to see if you have any nodules or anything. Skin color is normal and flush throughout. No nodules present on the skull. You said you're having sinuses today? All right. I want to palpate your maxillary sinuses. Any tenderness? No. No? And your frontal? Any tenderness there? No. No? All right. Ears are symmetrical. No serum found. Um, do you have any trouble hearing? No. No? All right. I'm going to do a whisper test on you right quick. Can I get you just to close your eyes and repeat what I say? Six F2. Six F2. All right. Good. Um, can you look up at the sky for me and close your eyes? All right. No deviated septum. Outer appearance of the nose is symmetrical as well as face is symmetrical. Um, can you smile for me? All right. And can you open your mouth and say ah? So you tongue out for me? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Gums are intact, teeth are straight and clear white. Uh, no issues with mucosa. Um, Let's see here. Do you have any, uh, do you wear corrective lenses? No. No? Um, have you ever had any trouble with sight before? Any, um, see any blurs in your vision? No. No? All right. Just look directly at me, please. All right. I'm gonna test your eyes right quick. All right. And can you stare at that back wall over there? And now there's been white. All right, very good. <clears throat> um, have you ever had any problems with mobility? No. no. Do you get adequate nutrition? Yes. Okay. And um, do you find yourself just kind of profusely sweating every once in a while? Yeah. No. All right, we're going over the brain risk assessment. So three of the main factors with skin breakdown in hospitals is immobility. So if you can't move or pull yourself up in the bed and you have to stay in a constant position, then you uh, run a high risk of developing pressure ulcers. Uh, another thing that adds to that is moisture in the skin. So the uh, more moisture you have on your skin, uh, the higher risk you are for developing pressure ulcers as well. And then adequate nutrition is important as well. Um, have you ever experienced any skin discoloration? Yeah. No. Like I said, uh, head and face are symmetrical. Um, have you ever had any previous head injuries? No. No? All right. Uh, she's oriented. Um, this would be a good time to explain the Glasgow Coma Scale. Uh, eyes open spontaneously, verbal responses oriented, and motor response, she obeys commands. So she would not be at any risk on the Glasgow Coma Scale. Um, now I'm gonna assess your throat. Can you lean your head back right there? Trachea is symmetrical and right placement. Can you swallow for me? All right. And can you take a look to your right for me, please? Since we're already at the neck, I'm going to assess for jugular vein distension. And can you look to the left? Thank you. No jugular vein distension present. Um, let's see here. Do you have any trouble with memory? I'm going to say it's cardiac, already inspected for jugular vein distension, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to your heart, and I'm going to palpate your pulses for you, okay? And generally, we'll do this underneath the gown. Start at the aortic, move to pulmonic. 
Lennox, Burbs Point. Can you look at what Breast Point is? Thank you. And Mitral, Tricuston, my apologies. And Mitral. All right. We'll find out the different arteries. Right here we have the carotid artery, the brachial artery, radial artery, femoral, popliteal. Uh, pedialis pulse and uh, dorsal tibialis. All right, let's see here. Can you uh, hand me your hands right quick? Thank you. I'm just gonna feel for edema on your wrists. No swelling. Do the same with your feet. Have you noticed any swelling? No. No? And I'm gonna check your capillary refill. Are your nails dry? And then I would do the same thing on the feet and the same for both sides. Uh -oh. I was arm down. All right, now I'm going to do respiratory. Can I get you to sit up in the bed for me, please? Let me just sit on this side of the foot. All right, so now I'm going to note your breathing pattern and also take breath sounds. So we'll start in the upper right lung. Deep breath. Left upper lung. Still left upper lung. Go to the right medial lobe. Can I get you to cross this arm over for me? Thank you. Go to the right lower lobe. The same on this side. Thank you. And the left lower lip. And can I get you to sit right over here for me? Do the same thing on your back. Start in the right upper lip. Deep breath. Sorry, left upper lip first. Then right upper lip. Move down to right medial lip. Deep breath. Left upper lip. Left lower lip, deep breath. And right lower lip. All right. You can lay back down for me. Have you had any breathing troubles? No. Any um, pain or discomfort while breathing in or breathing out? No. no. All right. your pulse one more time and uh, note the strength of it. Okay, so for starters, I'm going to do your radial pulse and do plus two, brachial pulse, do plus two as well. I'll do the same on the opposite arm. Come down here. Alice Pulse. And the posterior pulse is a plus three as well. Breathing pattern seems normal, normal depth and rate. Now I'm going to educate you on the turn, cough, and deep breathe. So if you could turn, cough, and deep breathe every two hours and then use a spirometer ten times every one hour. And what you do is you take a deep breath in and then slowly let it out into the spirometer. All right. Um, now we're gonna do your gastrointestinal tract, okay? So generally the patient would have their gown off. Um, you would note the presence of skin, um, make sure it's normal coloration, um, look for expected variables like silver, purple striae, and then note for any um, distinction. Um, to start for auscultation, we would start listening 
in the right lower quadrant. Until dial sounds are heard, move to the right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant. Left lower quadrant. And then we're looking for Venus sounds where the aortic valve runs with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Happy for any tenderness. Starting again in the right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Everything feels good. Do you uh, have you had any constipation recently or diarrhea? Yeah. No. And um, when was your last bowel movement? Yeah. All right. Are you uh, flatulent? Are you passing gas frequently? Yeah. No. All right. And we'll move on to the musculoskeletal system. So I'm going to run you through two ranges of motions on your upper extremities and two ranges of motion on your lower extremities. All right. So I'll start with your elbow. Can you set up for me? So if you hold it all the way out right there, that will be extension. And Right there will be flexion. And now we'll do your forearm. So can you point your palm up to the ceiling? That'll be supination. And then down toward the floor. That'll be pronation. Can you sit on the edge of the bed for me? So we'll assess your knee. Can you hold it straight out? That'll be extension. And then back down towards the bed. That'll be flexion. Come down to her ankle. Can you point your toes all the way up to the sky? That'll be dorsiflexion, and then all the way down to the floor, and that'll be plantar flexion. And then can I get you to, I'm gonna push down, can you give me resistance? All right, and then up, and then inward, and outward, all right. And um, do you have any issues with joint pain? No. No? And can I get you to stand right here where this chair is and walk towards me? So gait and balance are normal as well. Thank you. You look good.